In this tutorial, we'll be going over problems from past Math 30-2 diploma exams. So let's get started here. For our first question, when x over 3x plus 12 plus x minus 1 over 6x plus 24, where x is not equal to 4, is simplified, the numerator is 3x minus 1 and the denominator is All right, so I copied it over here. x over 3x plus 12 plus x minus 1 over 6x plus 24. Step 1, factor each denominator, because we want to make it as simple as possible. So the 3x plus 12 factors to 3 times x plus 4, and then the 6x plus 24 factors to 6 times x plus 4. Step 2. Achieve a common denominator. In this case, we can use 6 times x plus 4 as a common denominator. For the first, obviously, because 6 is just double 3. For the first term, multiply the numerator and denominator by 2 to achieve the common denominator. So the reason why we're multiplying 2 over 2 is because it's just multiplying by 1, which means it's, it's going to be the same thing as before just written in a, uh, in a different way. So we can go 2 times x equals 2x, 2 times 3 is 6. So now instead of x over 3x plus 4, we have 2x over 6x plus 4. And then the other term stays the same. It's still x minus 1 over 6x plus 4. Okay, so that's good. Step 3. Since both terms have the same denominator, add the numerators and share the denominator. So all that means is because these two terms have the same denominator, we just use that denominator. And then what we're allowed to do is just take this numerator, this numerator, and add them. 2x plus x minus 1. And then for the denominator, we just use that common denominator like that. And then our last step is simply to add the 2x plus the x. So we have 3x minus 1 divided by 6 times x plus 4. Now let's go back to the problem. It asks for the numerator is 3x minus 1 and the denominator is what? Well, the numerator is 3x minus 1. The denominator is 6 times x plus 4. 6 times x plus 4, right there. Our answer is A. Problem 2, the non-permissible values of x for the expression x plus 3 divided by x minus 4 divided by x over x minus 3 are. Okay, so when they're asking for non-permissible values, they're asking for any value of x that would that would lead to a denominator being equal to zero. So first of all, this is a denominator, the x minus three. X minus three is a denominator, so a non-permissible value is three. Over here we have a denominator. So a non-permissible value of x is four. So so far we have four and three. But there's one other denominator, and that is the x. So why is x a denominator? Well, because this whole expression is divided by this whole expression. If x equals 0, then this whole expression here equals 0. So you have something divided by 0, and that's not allowed. So our answer, answers for x are non-permissible values of x are 4, 0, and 3. So 4, 0, and 3, that's b. Answer b. Take a peek here. Uh, yeah, okay. The simplified product of 2n to the 4p times 6m to the 6 divided by 3m, 3n squared p squared, where m is not 0, n is not 0, and p is not 0, can, re can be represented by, or a, b, and c represent single digit numbers. Okay. So we have to figure out a, b, and c. 
So what's A? A just refers to the numbers generally. So you have 2 times 6 divided by 3 divided by 3. Let's take a look here. Uh, no, okay, yes, right. So what's 2 times 6 divided by 3 divided by 3? Well, it's Okay, 2 times 6 is 12, divided by 3 is 4, divided by 3 is 4 thirds. So we have 4 thirds as the number. But then when we scroll down, actually, we just look here, it gives us a 3 up in the denominator, so we don't have to worry about the, we don't have to worry about that part of it. A divided by 3 is the number part, and we saw that it's 4 thirds, so a has to be 4. Another way of explaining that is just to go, okay, well, they're giving us a 3 down here, so we can ignore one of these 3's. 2 times 6 is 12, divided by 3 is 4. So a equals 4. R numerical response right in here, we just write 4 for a. What about b? Well, b is the exponent of n. We have n to the power of 4 and n to the power of 2. So because we have division, the 4 minus 2 just equals 2. b equals 2. b equals 2. What about c? c is the exponent of m. So we have a 6 up here. And we have a 1 down here. 6 minus 1 is 5. So c is equal to 5. c is 5. Just once again, a is 2 times 6 divided by 3 is 4. a is 4. b is 4 minus 2 is 2. And then c is 5. 4, 2, 5 your answers. Ken made an error in the simplification of the rational expression 2 x oops. Ken made an error in the simplification of the rational expression 2x plus 10 divided by 2x squared minus 50 where x is not equal to negative 5 or 5. His simplification of the expression is shown below. Okay, so the first thing he did is he factored out the 2 in the numerator, and he factored out the 2 in the denominator, and he canceled the 2s. That's fine. Then he factored x squared minus 25 as x plus 5 times x minus 5. That's good. Step 3. He canceled out the x plus 5 and the x plus 5. And then in step 4, he concluded that this was all equal to x minus 5. Okay, so obviously he made a mistake somewhere. The step in which Ken made his error is... Okay. So I don't see any mistake here. From this, I don't see any mistake here. I don't see any mistake here. I don't see any mistake here. The mistake is obviously the final step. Because what he did from step 3, what he has left is 1 divided by x minus 5. Instead of writing 1 divided by x minus 5, he wrote just x minus 5. So that's where his mistake is, step 4. D, step 4. The solution for x in the equation, negative 2 over 3 minus 4 divided by x equals 6, where x is not equal to 0, is... Okay, so how are we going to solve this? Just copy the problem over here. Negative 2 over 3 minus 4 over x equals 6. Step 1. Achieve a common denominator for the entire equation. Notice that we have 3 as one of the denominators and x as another. Therefore, we multiply every term by both 3 and x. We have negative 2 thirds times 3 times x minus 4 over x times 3 times x equals 6 times 3 times x. 
Okay. So that's our first step. From here, it's pretty obvious what we can do. We can cross off the 3 in the numerator, 3 in the denominator, so those cancel. There's an x in the numerator, x in the denominator, those cancel. So how does this simplify? Simplifies to, with these 3's gone, you have negative 2x, negative 2x, yep. 3's cancel, negative 2 times x, negative 2 times x, right here. The x's cancel, so we have negative 4 times 3, so that's negative 12, equals 6 times 3 times x, which is 18x. Negative 2x minus 12 equals 18x. Simplify further. Just add 2x to both sides to, to cancel out this negative 2x. And we're just left with negative 12 equals 20x. Simplify further. Divide both sides by 20. You have negative 12 divided by 20 equals x. So x equals negative 12 over 20, which equals negative 3 over 5. So if our answer is negative 3 over 5, we go back to our, there it is, C, negative 3 over 5. Over a distance of 800 kilometers, the average speed of a small airplane is six times faster than the average speed of a train. The information is shown in the table below. Fair enough. So each thing is going to travel 800 kilometers at a different speed. So the time they take, the time for the train to travel is 800 over X, and the time it takes for the airplane to travel is 800 over 6X. To travel 800 kilometers, the train requires 8 hours more than the airplane. The equation is shown below. Right, so the time it takes the train to travel is 800 over x, and then the time it takes the airplane to travel is 800 over 6x. The difference between the two times is 8 hours. The question asks us for the average speed of the train to the nearest tenth of a kilometer per hour. Well, the average speed of the train is defined as x. So all we have to do is solve for x in this problem using this equation which was set up for us. Okay. So here we go. How do we do this? 800 over x minus 800 over 6x equals 8. Step 1. Achieve a common denominator for the entire equation. Notice that we have x as one of the denominators and 6x as another. Therefore, we multiply every term by both x and 6x. We have 800 over x times x times 6x minus 800 over 6x times x times 6x equals 8 times x times 6x. Simplify to get, okay, so the x here and here cancel, so we just have 800 times 6x, which is 4,800x. Over here, the 6x and the 6x cancel. We have 800x, sorry, negative 800x. And then over here, we have 8 times x times 6x, which equals 48x squared. Simplify. We have 4,800x minus 800x just gives you 4,000x equals 48x squared. Simplify further, we can divide both sides by x to get 4,000 equals 48x. And then finally, divide both sides by 48. You have 4,000 divided by 48 equals x. Which, when you, when you uh, punch that into your calculator, you get 83.3 kilometers an hour. So that's one method. There's another method that's similar but slightly different. Alternatively, we could have used the lowest common denominator method. Okay, so this is our equation that we started with. Step one, achieve the lowest common denominator for the entire equation. 
Notice that if we multiply 6 over 6 to the first term, 6x will be the common denominator we have. So similar to what we did in the very first question, we took, we take this first term, we multiply it by 6 over 6. And leave the other terms the same. So 6 times 800 is 4800. 6 times x is 6x. So now we have 4800 over 6x minus 800 over 6x equals 8. Step 2. Since both terms have the same denominator, add the numerators and share the denominator. Yeah, okay, right. So we have two terms here with the same denominator, the denominator being 6x. What we're allowed to do is subtract the numerators and keep the denominator the same. So 4800 minus 800 is just 4000. And then 6x, we preserve that common denominator, equals 8. So 4,000 divided by 6x equals 8. Step 3, multiply both sides by, of the equation by 6x to get. 4,000 equals 48x. Look familiar? It should be. Simplify to get. Just divide both sides by 48. 4,000 divided by 48 equals 83.3 kilometers per hour. And that's your numerical response, because they wanted it to a tenth of a kilometer per hour. So 